Hey guys, so as you know I haven't been uploading that much recently and I thought I'd make it up to you guys as well as my regular reviews to incorporate some new kinds of videos into the schedule and one of those videos that I've been wanting to do for quite a while is a Blu-ray collection video. Before I properly get into this Blu-ray collection I just quickly want to address something that I know some viewers out there will immediately notice. On Monday I posted a video announcing that I'd be doing a Q&A soon um, and as of this morning that video was deleted. It wasn't an accident, it was purposefully done and for a specific reason. Basically a friend of mine made the very good point of saying that I only have 35 subscribers and doing a Q&A with 35 subscribers is a bit pointless. And it totally made sense because you only really do a Q&A if you hit a specific milestone. For example, 100 subscribers, 500, 1000, even a million. And the fact that I only have 35 subscribers <clears throat> doesn't really help my chances of getting many questions. I mean, for example, and I don't want to sound like an arsehole here, but for example, the video had only been up for three days and I only had one contribution and knowing my luck, that's probably going to be the way it would stay for quite a while. So the Q&A won't be happening anytime soon, however it will happen some point in the future when I have a couple a few more subscribers. If, However, if you want the Q&A to happen sooner rather than later, please subscribe and get all your friends to subscribe and just support this channel as much as you can. So with that out of the way, we can get on with the Blu-ray collection. Now I'm not going to go into detail with every single one, I just want to get through this as quickly as possible. Good? Good. Let's get started. My fa first up is my favourite romantic comedy, 500 Days of Summer, 2001 A Space Odyssey, 2012, not an amazing movie, the first half is kind of entertaining, uh, the second half however, really boring. The only reason I have this however is because it came with my very first Blu-ray player. <clears throat> the Adjustment Bureau, Airplane. I picked this one up recently and it's one of the very few animes that I have in my collection, Akira. I've heard a lot of good things about it and I know some people separate their anime Blu-rays from their regular Blu-rays and I would do that if I only had enough anime Blu-rays and to be honest I only have like three so I don't really see the point of me doing that. Uh, I haven't watched this one yet by the way, uh, I only bought it the other day. Uh, but I am looking forward to looking at it. Alien and Aliens, the only two worth owning. American Beauty. American Psycho. Ant-Man. Apocalypse Now. Apollo 13. Argo. The Avengers and Avengers Age of Ultron. This is still my favourite thing in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, without a doubt. <clears throat> the Babadook, or the Babadook, if you want to pronounce it properly. Back to the Future. I think this is one of those movies that needs to be seen by everyone at least once in their life because they really do not make movies like this anymore. It's got everything, everything in this movie is so good, I can't think of a single flaw with it. I might review it at some point on on this channel. I mean, let me know in the comments if you want me to review Back to the Future. I'm not 100% sure about it yet. Batman Begins. The Dark Knight and The Dark Knight Rises. I think this is one of the best trilogies, if not the best trilogy ever made. I mean, there are very few times when a, a director can get a whole trilogy just right. I mean, Lord of the Rings, another good example, but this one is just flawless from start to finish. Big Hero 6, a film that surprised me quite a lot. The Big Short. Birdman. Blade Runner. 
Blazing Saddles. The Blues Brothers. I've only watched this once and I don't remember much about it, but I will try and watch it again. Uh, I don't think I was paying much attention the first time I saw it, so I didn't really like it that much. The Bourne Ultimatum. I, I am trying to get The Bourne Identity and Supremacy. I'm not worried about Legacy because that one's kind of shit. Uh, but this is by far my favourite in the Bourne trilogy because it had everything good about the last two but just kind of bumped it up by 10 and it has a lot more going for it and it is a lot smarter than the other two in my opinion. Boyhood. A Bridge Too Far. Very overlooked older war film that not a lot of people talk about nowadays. The Cabin in the Woods, one of my favourite horror movies ever. Captain America, The Winter Soldier. I will get Civil War as soon as that comes out. And I am trying to get the first one on Blu-ray. But in all fairness, I'm fine with just this one. Cloud Atlas. I don't actually know why I own this. It's a pretty crap movie. Really boring. I might get rid of it um, at some point. Yeah. Don't... <laughs> I'm not in a hurry to recommend this movie, basically. <clears throat> Collateral. One of my favourite movies of 2016 so far. Deadpool. The Departed. And The Descendants. Die Hard. Die Hard 2. Die Hard with a Vengeance. And... Die Hard 4. Um, these are the only ones in the series worth having because the fifth one didn't happen. Shh. Uh, but these four are really good. Absolute classic. Not as good as the first one but still enjoyable. My personal favourite and I haven't actually watched the fourth one yet. Django Unchained. Doctor Who, Day of the Doctor. This was a made-for-TV movie to celebrate the 50th anniversary of the long-running sci-fi TV show. And I really liked it. I got it uh, for Christmas once. And it's probably my favourite thing Doctor Who related uh, that's come out in recent years. Drive, one of my favourite movies ever. Edge of Tomorrow. Elysium. Ex Machina, or Ex Machina, however you want to pronounce it. Fargo, very good Coen Brothers movie, however I do prefer the TV series. Uh, Fight Club, <laughs> almost forgot that. Uh, Frank. Gangster Squad, not a great movie, but if you like a style over substance film that is really good for the shootouts, then yeah, you'll enjoy this movie. The Gift. Uh, let me just sort that out. Right, there we go. The Godfather. Godzilla. Gone Girl. And <clears throat> Goodfellas. <laughs> The Grand Budapest Hotel, Grand Torino, Gravity, The Green Mile, Green Zone, The Grindhouse Collection which contains Robert Rodriguez's Planet Terror and Quentin Tarantino's Death Proof. It's not the best thing either of these directors have done um, and I don't actually know why I have it. I don't know. It looked interesting. I don't know. Guardians of the Galaxy. The Guest. The Hateful Eight. Howl's Moving Castle. The Hunger Games. Oh shit. The Hunger Games Catching Fire. This is the only one in the series that I think is worth owning because it's my personal favourite in the series. Uh, the others are very good, but I just think this one has a lot more going for it. I don't know, I might review it at some point. Again, not in a hurry to. 
the Ides of March, in Bruges, politically incorrect comedy in every sense of the word, but just so funny. Inception, I'd feel stupid if I didn't have this on Blu-ray. Same goes for this, Inglorious Bastards, Inside Out, uh, Interstellar, Iron Man 3, I am trying to get the first two, but at the moment the third one is all I have, and the third one isn't even that gr uh, bad. Almost said not great, but yeah, I don't get why people shit all over this movie, because it's actually a pretty enjoyable movie at best. Jaws, and John Wick. We're getting there. Jurassic Park, Kick-Ass, Kill Bill Volumes 1 and 2. It's not Tarantino's best stuff, but for what they are, they're pretty enjoyable. Kingsman, The Secret Service, Kiss Kiss, Bang Bang, L.A. Confidential, The Lego Movie, uh, Life of Pi, Little Miss Sunshine, Looper, one of my favourite sci-fi movies of recent years, by the way. Um, all four Mad Max movies, Fury Road is my favourite. Man of Steel. And Memento. I really don't understand why they're remaking this. Because it's not even that old. And the original, this one, is a classic anyway. So I don't see the point. The Mission Impossible f uh, collection, which has the first four movies in it. And Rogue Nation, which might actually be my favourite in the series. Moon. Moonrise Kingdom, uh, Nightcrawler, amazing movie that, uh, The Place Beyond the Pines, Platoon, Predestination, very underrated movie. If you haven't seen this and you love sci-fi movies, then I seriously recommend this because I kind of think this fell under the radar in 2015 and I think more people should have seen it because it's actually really enjoyable. And a bit of a mindfuck as well. The Prestige. Uh, Prisoners. Prometheus. Pulp Fiction. The Raid. Oh shit. The Raid and The Raid 2. Two of the best action movies I've ever seen. Reservoir Dogs. Requiem for a Dream. Saving Private Ryan, Scott Pilgrim vs. The World. Now, I'm not a massive fan of Formula One racing, uh, which I was surprised because this documentary about the racing driver Ayrton Senna blew me away. I mean, it's very emotional, very interesting, and the the same people that uh, did made this movie went on to do Amy, which is just as good a documentary. But I was surprised at how much I actually really enjoyed this documentary. Okay, we're on the last section now, so hopefully not that more to go. Seven. Seven Psychopaths. The Shawshank Redemption. Uh, the Shining. Ugh, dropped it. Uh, Sicario. Sin City, one of the best graphic novel adaptations ever. Yet again, I also own the sequel, which isn't as good, but it's kind of enjoyable. I don't know, I haven't watched it for quite a while. Skyfall, my favourite Bond film to date. Uh, Slow West. Spider-Man 3, not the best in the series, but if, if anything, my favourite is actually Spider-Man 2. Um... But yeah, I, I will try and get the first two on Blu-ray as well. Uh, Spirited Away. The Star Wars Complete Collection, as well as The Force Awakens. 
Star Trek Into Darkness. I do have the first Star Trek, but only on DVD. Um, again, I am trying to get it on Blu-ray, but I'm having trouble trying to find it. And you know what? I might actually review this one and the first Star Trek J.J. Abrams movie in preparation for Star Trek Beyond, which comes out later this month. Submarine. Ted. The Terminator and Terminator 2 Judgment Day. I mean, I'd be a bit stupid if I didn't own either of those two. And True Grit. Still my favourite Pixar movie today, Up. Watchmen. One of my favourite movies ever, Whiplash. The Wolf of Wall Street. The World's End. Wreck-It Ralph. Uh, the Wolverine and X-Men Days of Future Past. And finally, Zero Dark Thirty. So, guys, that is every Blu-ray that I have, um, and I've now got to spend God knows how long putting them all back. <laughs> if you like this video and you want to see more like it, hopefully not, um, then subscribe and like this video. Uh, if you want me to review any of the movies that I've just gone through, uh, then please put in the comments below. I'd really like to hear your suggestions. Um, but yeah, apart from that, remember to subscribe, like this video, uh, like my Facebook page, The Media Critic, and uh, yeah, see you guys in the next one. Bye.